Hello friends, this is Ravi Verma and in this video I'm going to start the chapter number 4 from NCRT textbook of science for class 8 and the title of the chapter is materials, metals and non-metals. So in this chapter we will learn that the materials can be classified into metals and non-metals on the basis of their physical and chemical properties. So the physical and chemical properties of metals and non-metals are different. Okay, suppose we collect some materials like iron, coal, sulfur, aluminium and copper. We will see that they have differences in their properties. For example, if we talk about the appearance of these materials, we will find that iron has a shiny appearance aluminium and copper also have shiny appearance in the same way iron aluminium and copper are very hard in nature so here we see that these iron aluminium and copper have shiny appearance and they are very hard i know dear students that you can very easily say that these materials are metals you can name these metals like iron aluminum and copper so one thing that we know from this table is that that metals have shiny appearance and they're very hard but what about the remaining materials like coal and sulfur so if we talk about coal and sulfur these materials are opposite in appearance means they have dull appearance and they are not very hard they are not very hard so these materials can we call these materials as metals no these are not metals the coal and sulfur are non metals actually and they have dull appearance they don't have shine and they are not very hard so one thing one difference between the metals and non metals is clear that metals are shiny in appearance and they are very hard but non-metals are dull in appearance and they are not very hard. Okay, so dear students, in the same way, we can differentiate between metals and non-metals on more physical properties. So let us understand some more physical properties of metals and non-metals. Dear students, in this, in this uh, PDF of NCRD textbook, here you see, you can see that I have underlined some things. So, okay. So while you are making your notes, you can write these underlined lines means they, they can be used for making notes. Okay. So these are the important things, important points that I have found out in this chapter. Okay. So what we are going to discuss the physical properties of metals and non-metals. So one thing that we have noted that metals are shiny in appearance and they are very hard and non-metals are dull in appearance and they are not very hard. Okay. So, let's proceed further. Okay. So, dear students, uh, you have seen that a goldsmith beats a piece of gold uh, and converts it into a thin sheets. In the same way, uh, uh, a blacksmith hits a piece of iron by the help of a hammer and converts it into a thin sheet and makes different articles of iron okay so can you convert a piece of coal into a thin sheet by hammering it no obviously not what happens if you hammer a piece of coal or a piece of chalk with the help of a hammer you will see that they have been broken down into very small pieces on hitting so here again we find one difference between the coal and iron and coal and other materials okay uh, other metals so let us perform this activity we should collect uh, the materials like iron nail coal piece aluminium wire and pencil lead okay so we'll collect these materials and then we will try to hit them with the help of a hammer as it is shown in this image okay so 
if we hit them with the help of a hammer what will happen you will see that iron nail gets flattened into a thin sheet okay it flattens in the same way aluminum wire also flattens but what about piece of coal and pencil lead they will be breaking they will be breaking down into they will be broken down into pieces so here we find a very important property of metals and non metals distrients the metals can be flattened and converted into thin sheets by beating this property of metals is called malleability but non metals like coal and pencil are not malleable they are not malleable they break into pieces and this property is called brittleness okay so we can say that metals are malleable that means they can be beaten into thin sheets but non metals are brittle in nature means if we beat a non metal it will break into many small pieces okay so here you will find a very important point that is malleability the definition of malleability is written here so dear students now we know that metals are malleable means they can be beaten into thin sheets okay so this is why you are familiar you you might be familiar with the aluminium foil that we use to wrap a food okay and uh, the silver foil that is used for decoration of sweets okay so can you make such foils with the help of a coal or sulfur no you cannot make it okay now let's move on to the next property suppose that you have a metallic pen pen you have a metallic pan okay like a fry pan in which you are cooking something okay in the same way you are you have a, a metallic cooker right you have a pressure cooker so can you touch and hold the handle of a pre pressure cooker which does not has a handle of plastic or wood obviously not because you know that if there is no handle of wood or plastic on a cooking pan or on a pressure cooker it will burn your hand what does it indicate that wood and plastic both are such materials which are poor conductors of heat or which do not conduct heat okay which are very poor conductors of heat and this is why the handles of pressure cookers are made up of plastics right Uh, and the handles of other cooking pans are made up of wood so uh, in the same way in i in in irons also okay in irons you see that the handles of irons are made up of wood or mostly of plastics okay so we can perform another activity that is activity number 4.2 this activity we have actually performed in class 6th and what we have done in this activity we have made a tester we have made a tester we have made a tester and in this tester how did we make it we taken a pencil cell we taken two wires a bulb uh, of torch that is a torch bulb and another piece of wire now this tester can test that some material is a conductor of electricity good conductor of electricity or poor conductor of electricity for example in this figure you see that there is iron nail and the bulb is glowing that shows that iron nail is a good conductor of electricity that's why the bulb is glowing so in the tester if the bulb glows on putting a material here then the material is a good conductor of electricity but if the bulb does not glow then the material is a poor conductor of electricity so dear students by the help of this tester we will test the conductivity of these materials like iron nail sulfur a piece of sulfur and a coal piece right and a copper wire we will see that iron nail is a good conductor of electricity 
कॉपर इज गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बट सल्फर एंड कोल पीस दीज टू आर पुअर कंडक्टर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो हे वी वी क्लियरली सी दैट आयरन एंड कॉपर विच आर मेटल्स दे आर गुड कंडक्टर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बट सल्फर एंड कोल विच आर नॉन मेटल्स दे आर पुअर कंडक्टर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो वन थिंग वेरी इजली वी कैन से दैट आयरन रॉड आयरन नेल और कॉपर वायर आर गुड कंडक्टर्स वाइल्ड सल्फर पीस एंड कोल पीसेज आर पुअर कंडक्टर्स ऑफ बोथ हीट एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दिस इज क्लियर सो वन मोर डिफरेंस इन द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स वी हैव डिस्कस दैट मेटल्स आर गुड कंडक्टर्स ऑफ हीट एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बट नॉन मेटल्स आर पुअर कंडक्टर्स ऑफ हीट एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड दिस इज वाई द हैंडल्स आर मेड अप ऑफ प्लास्टिक एंड वुड एंड द इलेक्ट्रिकल स्विचेज आर ऑल्सो मेड अप ऑफ uh plastic that is thermosetting plastics okay <clears throat> now you have seen that in your homes there are many wires and the wires are made up of copper and aluminum which conduct electricity okay so can you make a wire with the help of a coal or a wood no you cannot make why because aluminum and copper can be converted or drawn into thin wires but coal sulfur wood these cannot be drawn into wires so this property of metals is called ductility because of which they can be drawn into thin wires here the definition is written the property of metals by which it can be drawn into wires is called ductility right so we can say that metals are ductile metals are ductile that means they can be drawn into thin wires but non metals are not ductile they are not ductile they cannot be converted into thin wires okay dear students next let us understand one more difference in the properties of metals and non metals that is metals are sonorous metals are sonorous so when in your kitchen if you go into your kitchen and you fall a metal plate or glass or you fall a metal coin you will see that uh, uh, a very good uh, uh, a ringing sound a ringing sound is produced when they fall or for example you have a metal box and you hit it with a stick you will see that a ringing sound is produced okay and uh, you also listen to the bell in your schools and uh, you know that the when the bell is ring okay uh, a, a metal plate is hit by the help of a hammer right so uh, we know that when metals are hit hardly okay they produce a ringing sound this property of metals is called sonorous right means we can say that the nature of metals is sonorous okay so dear students i have underlined here from this paragraph you can make the notes of properties of metals and non metals properties of metals and non metals so here you can see that what is written some materials some materials are hard lustrous means shiny malleable ductile sonorous and good conductors of heat and electricity the materials which generally possess these properties are called metals and the examples of them are iron copper aluminum calcium aluminum calcium and magnesium so this starting from this some materials to to this point you can write the properties of metals in the same way starting with this in contrast the materials like coal sulfur are soft and dull in appearance and they break into powdery mass or pieces on tapping with a hammer they are not sonorous and are poor conductors of heat and electricity these materials are called non metals and the examples are sulfur carbon oxygen phosphorus so starting with this point in contrast to this point phosphorus etc right so 
this paragraph these lines can be written as properties of non metals so dear students <coughs> we have discussed all the differences in the properties of metals and non metals these are written here and there are a few exceptions to them also for example you know generally metals are very hard but sodium metal and phosphorus metals these two metals uh, metals are very soft and they can be cut with the help of a knife they can be cut with the help of a knife in the same way mercury is very soft mercury is very soft actually mercury is a liquid at room temperature right so mercury is the only metal which is found in liquid state at room temperature these are a few exceptions so dear students this was all about the physical properties of metals and non metals now you can make your notes you can differentiate you can write the differences in the physical properties of metals and non metals in the next video we are going to discuss about the chemical properties of metals and non metals thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to the channel also thank you